Hey, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So today we're going to take on a one and a half skull mission. I've already figured out what we're going to do here. Um, Raider's out of action right now for seven days. She's the newest recruit we got. Um, that's okay. She was actually making her medium laser, which which uh, we ended up getting a plus one accuracy accuracy on. And we managed to pick up a um, injury resist cockpit last episode, which we've added both of those things to the Phoenix Hawks to improve it a little bit. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go to the contracts and we are going to take the only one and a half skull mission here, a payroll seizure contract. And I think we can do this one. If not, we can always bail. Um, we've got enough cash to, to last for quite a while here. Um, we've got at least a, one month plus we can buy some stuff. So let's negotiate this one. So I think I want to go full salvage on this one. We're going to go 313. Hopefully we don't take a lot of damage. I'm going to accept that. And our mech warriors have uh, gained a little bit of skill since the last episode. Um, Hickory now has fours across the board. Pylon has uh, um, fours and everything except for gunnery, which is five. And recoil has gained f now four piloting, which is really helpful. And uh, it's nice to be able to have all the mechs with four guts to get that plus one health. Um, it's a really big bonus. So, all right, we're going to deploy and get this thing done. All right, here we go. Four max on the ground. Steal this cash and get out of here. All right, so I know this map pretty well. It's relatively small. We got to get out on that side over there. Uh, so Whoa. Look at this place. It's so... we can maneuver around this way and head in, or we can just go straight down the middle, like a bunch of linebackers, and make the attempt to uh, take it. Now I don't know if they've got one lance defending in turrets or two. I don't see any turret positions up, so there might not be turrets. Chances are it'll be a lance defending and maybe another lance of reinforcements, but I have to worry about heavy mechs. So let's reserve this and reserve back. Uh, I had a question from one of my friends. Um, He's asking me if I was playing Rogue Tech in uh, Iron Man mode. Now, I don't normally play Iron Man mode because I've had some awful crashes. Uh, in some situations when I, where I haven't been able to reload. So um, I don't like actually playing in Iron Man mode, although I do sort of play in inf sort of personal enforced Iron Man. Um, so um, I, I won't, if, I, if a mech warrior gets killed or damaged or whatever, I don't, I, I won't reload. Uh, I won't start over. Uh, the, only, the only reason, like I said, the only reason why... Um, I don't play Iron Man mode is because I'm just worried that if uh, a bad crash happens, I might lose um, um, the ability to go back a save to be able to get back to a stable point. So, but I am playing personal, like I said, personalized Iron Man. So, all right, let's just walk it up. Actually, I want to sprint the Centurion a little farther. I think we're going to engage this guy. I want them targeting the Centurion. So what do we got here? Stingray. So that's a medium mech. Half armor. Two plasma cannons. Two medium pulse lasers. So they got some half decent gear here. Not a lot of armor. So we're going to fire on them anyway. Um, actually, we're going to leave off the medium laser. We've got enough ammo. We'll fire everything else though. Oh, we hit with the uh, nice Thunderbolt. Excellent. Okay. You know, I hated Thunderbolts for the longest time. I could never figure out why would want, anyone would want to use them because of the weight. Um, but the, the accuracy on them is, like, totally worth it. Okay. Let me see here. All right, recoil. Let's see what we're up against here. Let's get you in here. Another guy down there. We're going to open fire on this guy. We're going to fire everything. This guy is like super evasive. Why do we have such a hard chance to hit here? Sprinted, long range, target moved, plus 10. Wow. All right, well, we're going to fire on him anyway. Oh, I got a couple hits on it. That's good. Can't complain about that. And Hickory, 
Um, let's move back to where they kind of can't see us. But we can see them. And we're going to drop a couple missiles on this guy. If we hit with one, I'll be happy. There's one. Oh, just short on the other. Looks like we're penetrating that leg there. Yeah, leg and arm are going down hard here. Okay, that looks like it's a panther loadout. Although it could be a, a Vindicator. Um, Pylon. Let's get you in. Do I want to see what that guy is? Yeah, I think I do. Uh, he's fired already, so let's move into here. So we are dealing with a, an A-Leg Panther, which is like PPC SRM4. going to fire on the Stingray again. Actually, we have a better chance on this guy. We do, but I think I want to get the Stingray down and get him out of here, so let's fire. All weapons are go. All right, not bad. Four misses, five misses, I mean. Hooray. Ooh. Damn it. Okay, he's probably ace pilot. Okay, so he didn't move very far. He's really super evasive, though. Um, yeah. Let's move over here. Gonna fire on him again. Uh, we are gonna go with the same loadout, I think. Um, do we leave the SRM4 off? He's, chances are he's going to hit us again, but we're going to fire again. Okay, this time we hit with the auto cannon and two missiles. Nice. Nice. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Other arm down to one. Both arms are at one. Wow. Wish I had machine guns or something. Uh, recoil's good enough. Okay, Mr. Machine Gun Boy, get up here and shoot these guys, will you? Hey, let's see what this baby can do. Fire on this guy. Let's hope we hit a couple of those arms. Ah, two hits. He's got his plasma cannons in the arms, if I'm correct, right? Yes. So I think maybe Hickory's just going to sit still. There's no point in moving. Increasing the chance to hit. So we're going to fire two on this guy. I'll take one hit, please. Nice. There goes the left arm. <laughs> now I think we can take the right. What's this guy going to do? Is he playing the back game? Watch my six. He sure is. We got to nip that in the bud. Commander. Okay, Pylon. Uh, I want you to nip this back attack guy in the bud, please. Aye, and aye. shoot him in the back. They want to play the back game. We play a pretty good back game here. Okay, nice. Four hits. Inflicted some heavy damage. You certainly did. Okay, he's only got one plasma cannon now, so we're going to unload on him with everything again. Where is he going, though? Why would you move forward? I'm going to move back, stay out of range of those new guys coming in. We're going to fire on this guy again. And we're going to fire the same loadout. Ah, two misses that time. Can't get lucky with every every single turn. That's just fine. We better hurry up, though, because I think they're going to get reinforcements in a minute here. Kintaro. That is not good. Okay, we got to get you out of there. Minimal damage on that hit. Yeah, no, no. Nothing's minimal damage, buddy. See dollars every time your mech gets hit. I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna fire everything on the stingray. All weapons are go. Come on, we gotta get that arm. Let's see what their panther does. That's another light mech back there. So that's probably a um, urban mech because he's moving so slow. Okay, Hickory. Yeah. I want you to back up into the trees here because I think these guys are getting too close for comfort. 
28% chance this time. Let's fire on him anyway. Come on, give me one. Nah. Can't get that lucky. Yeah, don't beat yourself up. Focus on your job. That's all we gotta do. Moonwalking. He's playing the back game. Well, that sacrifices Pylon. He's gonna play the back game with this guy still, so... We're gonna back up over here. Shoot this guy in the back. Firing everything. Nice shooting. Okay, so there goes his PPC. Unsteady. I still think I need to target that Stingray though. Okay, what's he doing ace pilot wise? He's gonna keep moving forward. So we're gonna move a little bit over here. Gonna fire on the Stingray. And same loadout. Oh, we did hit with the auto cannon, but I don't know where I hit though. I think it was a leg hit. Yeah, it might have been a leg hit. I don't know. Comes that Kentaro. Stop shooting at my light, Mick. He should be overheating in a minute. Yeah, there we go. One of the reasons why I don't worry about Kentaro so much. Oh, this guy's just got regular SRM sixes. Uh, the guys with the streaks you have to worry about, but um, I don't worry about them all yeah. that much because um, they overheat so damn fast. So I think maybe we're going to maximize and fire on this guy now. Okay, left arm gone. Alright, he bailed out. Good. One less person that we have to shoot at. So let's get recoil... Um, I want to get you, I think, here. Do I want to try and burrow through this guy? Or do you want to... Let's go for his arm. So if we're going to sprint... Ah, that's really low chances to hit, though. Let's flank. Let's get up some, uh... Chevrons and just shoot this guy in the side. Let's hope we hit with one, take that arm off. Nope. And well, now we're flanking him on both sides, and this is an Ibermac back here. Find out what it is in a second. Damn pulse lasers. See where he walks. Okay. So it's an AC-20. So we do have to worry about that guy. Um, yeah. Let's get back here. Gonna fire everything on this guy again. Oh, they both hit! Oh my god, they both hit. Heat bank destroyed. Pilot injured. Is he unstable? Very unstable he is, too. Much as I want to try and save as much, much off that mech as I can because it's got it's got some advanced technology in it, I just can't risk uh, I can't risk taking too much damage from him. How much has he got left here? 63. So let's get pylon. Um, what if we go here? 50% chances. And if we move into here, 69. So let's move into there. Put the Kentaro between us and that guy, and we'll fire everything into this guy's side. Now let's see how you handle this. Are you serious? My god, only one hit. At least we go before him, though. Okay, that cannot hit the Firefly. Okay, recoil. Yeah, I want you to come back here, buddy. Let's get in the trees. It won't work. There we go. Get in the trees. Shooting at this guy. Got that rock between us and that uh, hunchback. Or the, uh, sorry. You know what I'm talking about. There we go. That guy's gone. 
between us and the urban mech. I see AT, whenever I see AC-20, just assume Hunchback, but, you know. Let's get a little closer to this guy now. Kentaro's not quite as dangerous because he's far easier to hit. Let's hit him. One. One miss. Okay. Is he running? No, he's just backing up. Oh, he shut down. Yeah. Let's give this guy a cold metal welcome. Do we just CT him and get rid of him? Does he have anything good on him? I don't think he does. Yeah, no. Let's go for a headshot. We're gonna just gonna if we get lucky, we take his head off. Great. If not, that's fine too. So we miss with we miss with just one missile. Okay, pylon. Uh, let's get away from that auto cannon, please, and thank you, and go back into the trees here. It's not as good chance to hit, but uh, let's turn off one of the medium lasers and fire the rest. We're gonna go for a s yeah, let's go for CT. Copy that. Don't think it matters that much. Okay, now he's unstable, so we're gonna push him back a turn, and we'll finish him off. And it'll just be the urban mech. Okay, recoil. Yes, Let's get in. over here. Gonna offensive push this guy. And let's turn off. I don't think it really matters. Two of these lasers. Gonna go for CT. Just fire. Okay, so we pushed him back a turn. She doesn't need to move. We're going to fire straight on this guy. Uh, let's go for CT. Whenever we want CT, we can't get it. Except for now. Whenever we don't want CT, we get it all the time. Doesn't look like there's going to be reinforcements on this one. I thought for sure at one and a half skulls there would be. Let's get over here. Let's fire on this guy. Going to go for CT. How much has he got left? 53. Uh, we'll fire with these guys. Firing on target. Oh my god. Everywhere but the CT pretty much. Okay, it's back up to here. Going for CT. And fire. Don't want this guy getting up. Okay, so he's not getting up. Okay. Alright, recoil. Let's get you in. We want to shoot from this side. We want to get rid of that AC-20 as fast as possible. And I am going to have you offensive push this guy. So we go twice before he does. Let's go for the arm. Um, what else? Can we use all of them? No, I would use all but one. Nice shooting. Okay, there goes the AC-20. We might not even need the second turn. Let's just walk it up here. To this guy does have reduced armor, so don't have to worry about him too much. Nice. Badass. Got that yeah, right. Commander. All right, pylon. Let's see if we can burrow through his side. And we can fire these four. Roger. Oh, that was a head hit. What if we don't move? Really good chances to hit. Can we fire the medium laser too? We can. Four points left in the head. Won't matter. Oh, wait. There goes the knockdown. That, that should put him out. That does. Alright, who's closest? Alright, Rico, it's all yours. Steal that payroll and let's get out of here. Reserving action. And that's it, folks. Wow, that was easy. Alright, 87,000. Yeah, we, we took a little, little little bit of damage here and there, but not that bad overall. Probably about 20,000 in damage. 
So there's some Panther parts, one Kintaro part, eh, one Stingray part. Urban Mac parts, no big deal. Uh, ooh, Exchanger, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Fusion core, core for cash. And that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. Not a whole lot here. So what's this Fusion Core worth? 400,000 SRM 6s or what? One, no, 900,000 or 90,000, I mean. Regular medium lasers we don't need. So let's just grab this other Fusion Core and confirm. So we did get the Kentaro part. Nice. One, two, three, four Panther parts. Nice. Stingray and Urban Mech part and a couple of lasers, SRM 6. So not bad overall. All right. So oh, only, only 10,000 in repairs. That's even better. Nice. To be able to do another mission before the end of the month, actually we might be able to pull two off. So the Firefly and the Centurion were the only ones that took damage. Raiders out for six days. Maybe we can... Um, let's go to base here. Who needs the Exchanger the most? Uh, the Jenner obviously doesn't. Phoenix Hawk, I think, is running heat neutral. It might just be the Centurion. Firefly, maybe. I don't think so. I don't think we can fit it in there. Anyway, let's get the Centurion repaired. Alright, let's have a look here. Okay, Centurion, I think... Yeah, I think we were saying that this guy is not very heat neutral. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so if we put... I don't think we have room for it, though. That's the problem, right? We have the cooling pot in here. Which we can pull. And change it with the exchanger. It'll give us a little bit of heat sinking, but not much. Minus 10 heat generated per 10%. So if we pull that out and put this in... It is a little better. 33, 38. That's pretty good. So maybe we just do that. We got the heat sink cooling pod. We'll save this for another build, I think. Uh, I don't want to put it in anywhere else right now. I mean, we could also downgrade this engine. We don't need to move as fast. We have the 180 now, right? Um, Fusion core 180. Although we'd have to add, this is 7 tons. This is eight and a half. We'd have to add a heat sink which doesn't weigh anything. But we're out of slots too, right? So that's not going to help us in any way. Okay, that's fine. I think we're good. Just change that one thing around. Confirm this. Alright, so overall a pretty good day's work there. Um, past couple of episodes have been two good missions. Um, but I think we're, I think our welcome is played out on this planet. Let's have a look at navigation. Let's have a look at the command center first, just to see if there's anything else we want to do here before repossession. Uh, we might be able to get some stuff off the armored vehicles, but they're always like, usually the tough vehicles, right, that you have to worry about. Um, plus they come with a Lance and Max too, right? So I think we'll leave that. I'm not going to pull any of these half scholars. So let's go to a different planet before the next episode here. And then when we come back, we'll be able to pull off another mission. So let's find someone really close here. Um, 12 days, 17. I mean, we could always go back here. Or sorry, where did we come from? Rain was 12 days. 19, I thought there was one that was like nine days away. Maybe I'm mistaken. 17, 13. 12, well, it's really only 12 days. This one's got manufacturing, industry technology, higher presence, prison planet. Let's go here. Let's go to Manifred. Or Mary Fred. It's 12 days. We won't be able to get two missions done before the end of the month if we do this, but that's fine. We'll have a better option when we get there anyway. I think the half skull mi missions are far below us now. Even if we just try and take them for cash, it's really not going to give us anything that's worthwhile. Once we get a second lance up and running, if they're all light mechs or whatever, uh, then we can start pulling half skull missions as, you know, just cash generators. Task piling would... Ooh, yeah, let's do that. She gets one inju injury, morale increased by one. Damn. 15 days. Well... We needed to cycle in our new pilot anyway, so... 
give them a chance to get some experience. Yeah, so as I was saying, the half skull missions I think we'll leave to a second lance once we get it up and running. And obviously we don't have any extra mechs yet, so that's going to be a little while off. Excellent. Let's find out what we've got in the store. Still got 400, 200,000 we could spend. Look at all these mech parts, crazy. ER PPC, which we can't afford. ER mediums. LRM triple plus. What does this thing got? Ooh, that's nice and accurate. Nowhere to put that, though. Um, I mean, technically, we could put it on... Yeah, I mean, we could put it on the Jenner. Pull off one of those... No, cause then we won't... Uh, we won't have enough ammo for it. There's not enough There's not enough room anyway. That's fine. Endo Steel, Triple XL engines. Look at that, 7 million. Some of the prices are just crazy. And Patchwork Materials T2. No cockpits. And any good ammo down here? Oh, they got LRM Deadfire ammo. I'm just going to buy that because... I like to use dead fire ammo and sometimes it's hard to find. We're not going to have a use for it just yet. But I mean, see now that makes me want to, um, now it makes me want to um, build an LRM build on the um, Centurion. How much is this? 330,000. We'd have to work really hard. Let's do it. Let's buy this for now. Because if we drop that on... We drop that on the Centurion with another LRM. Pull out the SRM4. Pull out the Thunderbolt Launcher. I'm liking the pinpoint damage. But I'm thinking that the overall damage... You put an LRM in there with Deadfire ammo. LRM15 and like an LRM10, let's say. It's 25 missiles doing 6 damage each. It's just the out, the damage outlay is far better than the... Uh, Thunderbolt. Well, I'll think about that. That might be something we do a little later when we have a little bit more money. But right now, we don't. So we're going to end the, end the episode here. If you like the episode, please drop a like below. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please please feel free to subscribe. And I also, I'm also i always enjoying comments. If you have any comments, just drop a comment down in the comment section. I do make a point of replying to everything. So, uh, you know, put something down there. Uh, but until next time, I'll see you all later.